Hello, uh, my name is Jim Howard, H-O-W-A-R-D. Uh, today's October 13th, uh, 2006, and I was thinking that um, I should perhaps record this uh, video about a subject because, I don't know, I was just thinking that it might be good to put it down. I should have put it, well, when YouTube wasn't available, but the idea wouldn't have occurred to me, but I should have put it down in the year 2000. What it's about is uh, the census, 2000 census here in the United States. Uh, I worked on, on that in the state of Missouri, Jackson County, or uh, Cass County, Cass County, Missouri. Uh, in the United States, our Constitution, when it was drawn up, and even now, has very little information in it. I mean, it, it was a great document unbelievably great document. Uh, not, you know, our system probably will not work in Iraq, it will not work, you know, in the Mideast, it won't work probably a lot of places. Some places it, it might work, but for us, a fantastic document, unbelievably drawn up with checks and balances and everything. But it didn't, ha it had to be filled out later on, as it, you know, uh, by precedent and by laws being written. It actually doesn't say a great deal. There's no mention of income tax and all kinds of subjects uh, that are not mentioned. One of the few things in it is a requirement, a law, a rule, that every 10 years in the United States a census must be taken. And so, f you know, for every 10 years a census is taken. Um, I worked on the 2000 census. It's 2006, so in four more years it should be another census. But I've got a feeling that maybe they're going to change the way the things have been the way they've been doing things for hundreds of years, and uh, not do it. I think maybe they're going to do it bits and pieces, uh, not all in one year, one time. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I just got a feeling they're going to change things with computers and everything that they have available. But anyway, uh, I wanted to tell you about my experiences, you know, doing it. I was just a rank and file uh, enumerator. Actually, there was three phases of it. I think, I'm not sure if the two phases I worked on were, I was called an enumerator, but anyway. Um, the census is ex extremely confidential, extremely private. I, it's required by law. Um, of course, the data, I mean, collecting the information, who gives you the information, all that information, but then, of course, later it is, you know, put together in databases, and then they just decided how much information is, when it's put out, and all those. So as far as collecting the information or whatever, it's extremely confidential. You're not to give the information to, you know, the police. If you come out of somebody's house or whatever, and they, you know, you're not to give it. It's extremely confidential. And it has to be that way because you're going to go ask people, you know, for all this information. If the people get the idea, well, you're going to go next door and tell the next door neighbor how much they make or whether they have a bathroom in their house or a telephone. I mean, it, you know, it just wouldn't work. Um, so a part of the training that, you know, you get is stressing the importance of keeping information confidential. Um, so I went out, they had uh, two forms, a short form and a long form. The short form wasn't too bad to fill out. The long form was page after page of, you know, do you have a bathroom, do you have a telephone, do you, I mean, it just on and on. And now, I don't know whether it was like one in five, one in ten, you know, and it was so you didn't, there was, it wasn't designed, I mean, you didn't know who was going to get a long form or, you know, what wasn't designated a certain person just out of so many people. Um, of all the, well, Cass County, Missouri, Missouri's right in the heart of the United States, Cass County was 
has some expensive homes in it, has a lot of poor people, you know, in it also. I mean, I was uh, mightily impressed by, out of all the people that I contacted, only two people refused to cooperate with me. Now, they could have been required by law. They could have been, the police could have come in. I don't think, you know, it could have come and take them, taken them away, which never, I don't think that happened any place in the United States during the 2000 census, and I don't think it probably ever probably has happened. Yeah, they, don't, they don't want to operate that way. But uh, let me come back to that subject. But let me come back to the asshole who wouldn't really, was a real, you know, belligerent, violent type guy. Um, the census, too, these people, when I was calling on them, said, okay, now you, you know, you got this out of the way and you won't be bothered. What I didn't realize, I don't think they, they didn't tell us or explain to us or whatever, was I was, okay, you're all, you know, I'm telling people, you're all done now. There was somebody checking up on me, so out of the, all the ones I turned in, a certain number of those, somebody else went out and did the exact same, came to the, some of the same people and said, we need, you know, they, well, we just did one. Well, this is check, you know. And then somebody came and checked up on that person. So I was telling people, oh, you know, you're, that's all, and thanks for your cooperation, and you won't be bothered by us for, you know, another 10 years. And some of those people had somebody else turn up. I uh, had one guy, I think he was 95 or 99 or something like that. It, he was out in his, he had some property there. He was out working on his thing. And uh, I told him, I said, well, I'll be back to see you in 10 years. You know, he said, no, I'll be dead by then. I said, no, I'll be back to see you in 10 years. Um, the people that I called on, everybody was extremely nice. And... This area I was working in was not an affluent area, not, you know, Beverly Hills or New York City or someplace. It was, I was really surprised how there were uh, quite a few people that I called on who had adopted children. There were quite a few people that I called on who had taken a child from a foreign, you know, well, not taken, it sounds like they went, they had adopted a child from a foreign nation of another race or uh, whatever. It was really some really nice great people. But unfortunately that I w went out to this one place and it, it was an expensive house. Went up and the guy came, blit, found out who I was, came, I thought he was going to, to uh, physically assault me, yelling and screaming, get off the property. And I, I just wanted to, then I was going to try to explain to the, I had other people who said, well I don't want to give information. And I, to the, you know, those people said, well let me just start on the questions, and if there's anything that you object to, you know, we'll discuss it, and you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Everybody then had a couple of people say, well, why are they asking that? Which I should mention, um, all these questions have been congressional hearings about why is this question being asked. There had to be a legitimate reason for the question to be asked. There had to be legislation or something that was, you know, uh, some reason that that information had to be gathered because they had to know where they should put a veterans hospital in the area, where their you know, social security office had to be, you know, those are reasons that it had to be asked. So everybody was really cooperative. This one guy, I go to, there he comes up, and so I tried to explain to him, you know, okay, well, but he wouldn't let me. I was going to explain to him, okay, somebody else, my supervisor is going to have to come out now and try to talk to you. And explain to him, you know, that if he refused to cooperate with the supervisor, somebody else would be out to try to get his cooperation. And if he didn't cooperate in that regard, what would happen was one of us was going to go and to, you know, neighbors, next door neighbors. Do you know who lives in this house? Do you know how many children they have? Do you know if they have, you know, depending on what the, which form it was, hopefully it'd be a short form. But uh, he was just so... But... Uh, it was really very uplifting. Uh, American people are really a decent, God-fearing people, unlike our government. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to record it. I don't know if it's interesting or not, but uh, there you have it. Census 2000. Thank you very much.